Hello, I'm Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a voice changer app using MIT App Inventor. So for this, you can either type your text over here to change the voice or you can use this speak button so that you can speak and using speech recognition, it will get the voice and it will show it in this text box. So I'll click on speak. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Now you can see that the text is over here. Now let me click on change voice. Now it is the default voice because I didn't change the pitch and the speed. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. You can see that there is no change in the voice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the I'll increase the pitch like this. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Now you can see that the voice is changed. I'll now decrease it. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Now you'll be able to see the difference in the voice. Now you can also increase or decrease the speed. Now I'll increase the speed. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Now I'm going to decrease it. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Now you can see that it is getting reduced the speed. So first to add the title, I'm going to bring in a label and then I'm going to bring this to be at the center of screen one. So let's go to screen one and let's change align horizontal to be center like this. Next in the label, I'm going to change the text to be voice changer. Next I'm going to make the font to be bold and let me increase the font size of this to be 30 like this. Next I'm going to bring in a text box like this over here and let's make it a bit bigger so that the user can type a lot of text so i'll change the hint of this to be like this text to change voice and i'm going to put multi line to be enabled now to increase the height of this i'll put the height to be 40 percent and the width of this to be fill parent like this now you can see that the text box is ready next i'm going to bring in a button and let me change the text of this to be speak i'm going to make the font to be bold and let's change the background color of this to be orange like this. Next let me go to layout and bring in an horizontal arrangement. Now I'm going to increase the width of this to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole width of the screen. Next I'll bring in a label and I'm going to change the font size of this label to be 20 like this. You can also make it bold and now I'm going to change the text of this to be pitch. Next I want this to be at the center of this arrangement. So let me go to horizontal arrangement 1. Let me select this and I'm going to change the align horizontal property to be center and align vertical also to be center like this. Next we are going to use the slider component so that the user can adjust the pitch and the speed. So for this let me put the width of the width of the slider component to be 50% like this. Next I'm going to decrease the minimum value to be 0 and the maximum value to be 2 like this because the pitch is between 0 and 2 in MIT App Inventor text to speech component. Next the thumb position needs to be 1 like this. Now you can see that the this pitch slider and the label is ready. Let me duplicate the whole horizontal arrangement by doing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now I'm going to change the text of this to be speed. Next the slider all the properties of the slider needs to be same over here. Now I'm going to duplicate this button, speak button, and I'm going to put the text of this to be change voice. So after the user picks the pitch and the speed, this button will change the voice. So to get what the user is speaking, we are going to use the speech recognizer component. So let's go to media and let's bring in the component. We will also use the text to speech component so that we can convert it to speech. So as you can see over here in the text to speech component you can change the pitch and speech stage. So this is what we will do in the block section. Now let's go to the block section. So first let's go to button 1 and we are going to bring in this block when button 1 dot click. So button 1 is this button speak button. So what this button will do whenever the user clicks on this button it will get the text from the user and it will get to know what the user is speaking using speech recognizer component and it will show it in the text box. So for that what we will do is when button 1 dot click let's go to the speech recognizer component and let me bring in this block call speech recognizer 1 dot get text. Now after the component gets the text what we will do is we are going to get the result and we will put it in the text box 1. So over here let me go to set text box 1 dot text 2 and I will set it to be 
get result so that it will get the result whatever the user is speaking using this component and it will show it in the text box one now next when button two which is the change voice button is clicked we need to use the pitch slider and the speed slider to change the properties of text to speech as you can see pitch is over here and speech rate is similar to speed so if you increase the speech rate over here the speed will also increase in the text to speech so we will do that in the block section so when button 2 is clicked so let me bring in this block so when button 2 is clicked let me go to text to speech and i'm going to change the pitch so set to text to speech 1 dot pitch 2 we will get the pitch using the slider so let me just bring in this block slider 1 dot thumb position which means that the position of the thumb or the dot which the user has selected next let me duplicate this block and this time let's set the speed or the speech rate so set text to speech 1 dot speech rate to be slider 2 which is the speed speed slider now after we set the pitch and the speech rate we are going to use the text to speech to speak the message so let me go to text to speech and i'm going to bring in this block called text to speech 1 dot speak message so the message is going to be whatever is present in text box 1 so let me go to text box 1 and i'll bring in this block text box 1 dot text before we test the app let's let's look at some more properties of text to speech we already saw the pitch and the speech rate now let me go to text to speech so over here after this is the event after the text to speech has spoken and this is the event before it has spoken next we already know this block so this is used to speak the message and then for this you can change the you can get the available countries in the text to speech and also available languages next you can set the country and the language for the text to speech so the default one is english and you can change it by using this block set so text to speech one but language two the same way we already saw the pitch and then text to speech one dot result means whatever the text to speech has spoken next over here you, we already saw the speech rate two this is to get the speech rate and this will set the speech rate so over here we, we are using the setter block which means we are setting the speech rate next this is this block is for the component so here you can see the app so what i'm going to do is you can type in this text box but i'm going to use the speech the text uh, speech recognizer component so let me click on this button please remember to subscribe like and share now you can see that the text is available over here now i'll just decrease the pitch and i'm going to increase i'll, I'll also decrease the speed please remember to subscribe like and share you can see that it has been changed so let me increase this speed and let me also increase the pitch you can see the difference in voice now also. Next, do you want to create a voice assistant app using a Mighty App Inventor? Watch this video and also watch my full course of a Mighty App Inventor here.